Hey Tubies, it's Psyche Bob. Well, we're out and about. We're having another adventure. I'm with my buddy, Mr. Armius, and we're going into the city, into DC, into the big city. So come on along. Hey Tubies, well look where I am. I'm at the Smithsonian Castle. It's certainly beautiful. Check this out. This is the formal gardens. Really beautiful. There's the castle building. So we're having an awesome day here and I'm going to take you guys on a tour of the city. So come on along. Another piece of interesting history is that my father helped install these gates. Back in 1986, these gates were custom made and put in here wrought iron they weigh a ton but you can see them they're really awesome another fact that a lot of people don't know here at the museum is that you may see sitting around here these iron benches these are actually from the victorian era they were a gift by queen victoria to the people of the united states and uh, they are original they're so solid and heavy that they literally sit out year round and they've not rusted. They're over 100 and 150 years old. Um, but anyways, when they put these in, I was here um, and I saw them come out of storage. So pretty awesome. True Victorian ironwork. Also, these urns are, were gifts from Queen Victoria to the people of the United States. They don't say on it, but I was here when they installed these. And here are some more of the urns. They're lining the center garden here, which is just absolutely beautiful. Here's the castle building. I love to come here. It brings back so many memories for me. Oh, also some more Victorian ironwork. Uh, this little fencing around the garden is also part of the gift from Queen Victoria to the people of America. So these are real Victorian wrought iron pieces. And as you see, we come around to the front side of the castle here. Here are some more of these amazing Victorian wrought iron benches. People walk by them and sit on them every day, but they have no idea that these were actually given to the United States by Queen Victoria. And uh, I think it testifies to the quality of the craftsmanship because they're over 150 years old and they're in excellent condition. And they sit out year round. Pretty cool stuff. There's a front view of the castle building. And as we walked across the mall, here we are and straight across is the Museum of Natural History. We're gonna go in there today as well. So we'll have an adventure. So come on along. Hey Tubi, look, the birds here in DC are so tame. They joined me for lunch. Here's my lunch companion. I'm gonna feed them some right here. There you go. Here, you wanna eat some more? And I got another one right here. So I'm going to throw this out to him. Well, that one stole it from that one. That's a raven. A little raven, guys. Look. I'm the Duke of Ravensworth. Here you go. Oh, There you go. <laughs> I got a whole flock of them here. Isn't that great? I'm having so much fun. Look, I got lunch companions all lined up here. They're on the chair. Oh, they're all down here waiting for me. There's my buddies back. Hi, are you still hungry? Huh? They're so tame. Aren't they cute? I want to take one home. <laughs> oh, guys, look at this little baby who's come up here. So cute. Come here. Come here. You can eat it. Good boy. Here you go. 
Oh, there's a little baby. I tell you, I got great lunch companions here with me. They're so friendly. They're not even chirping. Here, you want some more? You're a little one, you look hungry. Hello, Mr. Raven. There's my black raven. That pretty raven deserves something good. I got all of them wanting their lunch now. There's one perched on the fruit. Well, Tubies, we're going to have to go into the uh, Natural History Museum later because a bunch of tour buses pulled up and there's literally a line down the street to get into the museum. So I'm not waiting in a line. Anyways, we'll go see uh, the National Gallery of Art. So come on along. Well, here I am outside the National Gallery of Art Sculpture Garden. Let's go take a look at this. This looks fun. I've not been to this one. Oh, look at this, guys. A giant silver tree. And if my art history serves me correctly, that might be a Calder uh, sculpture right there. We'll take a look at it. Look at this, guys. A giant silver tree reaching into the sky. Let's go look at this. It's literally a tree made of silver. Or stainless steel or something. Fascinating. Let's only hope in the future that all of our trees aren't made of metal. And Tubies, here's this amazing red sculpture. I'm pretty sure it's a calder, so let's go see. I think the sign about it is over here. You know, when I was a kid, I used to love all this modern art. I still love it, even though I'm older. Back in the day, it was all the rage, back in the 70s. Ah, uh, I was right. My art history paid off. Alexander Calder, American, 1898 to 1976 name is Cheval Rouge. This one was made in 74. You know, I'm pretty sure I came to see this. It was in a different location when it was first new. Here I am now outside the National Gallery of Art. Isn't this a beautiful building? It looks very palatial. It's so much fun being down in DC. Hopefully today I can show you guys a real Picasso on film. So let's go along and have an adventure. Here's the beautiful National Gallery. Is this not an impressive building? It looks like a giant Greek temple. United States of America. Oh look guys, over here is a nice cool fountain. Let's take a drift over here and look around. Oh, isn't this beautiful? The landscaping here is beautiful. Look at this massive tree. This oak tree is as big as the great-grandmother tree near where I live. Hundreds of years old. Look at this amazing fountain. Check this out, guys. Oh, look at that. Amazing hydrangeas. It's really like the grounds of a palace here. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, the air is coming off. It's so cool. That water is cooling the air. Look at the lush tropical environment here. Beautiful flowers everywhere. This is what I love about our nation's capital, is they really put the effort into making it like a big park everywhere. Not just any park, a beautiful park. Look at those flowers. Gorgeous. You know, I could see myself if I worked here, coming out here and having lunch every day. I would love that.
Beautiful. Oh, look at the bees here, guys. I love these flowers. Well, let's go on inside. Here I am at the front entrance on the portico of the Gallery of Art. Look how big this beautiful bronze work is, this big giant door. I don't know if you guys get a sense of the size of these massive columns. It's an amazing architecture. I love it here. I'm going to stand by one of the columns. You can see how big it is. <laughs> Is that amazing or what? The Gallery of Art is probably the most luxurious museum. This is just the restroom. If you just are tired and want to relax, this is the room. It's done like a giant English mansion. This is for the public when they're tired just to come and have a seat. Is this not impressive? Not a soul here today. It's so elegant and relaxing. This is the wonderful thing about the National Gallery is that they try to make everybody's visits here luxurious and comfortable. So I think I'll take a seat and just chill for a few minutes here. Ah. So luxurious. Look at the beautiful Chinese vases up on the mantle here. Here's the fireplace. Look at that. Probably from like the 1700s, probably worth a million dollars each. Beautiful paintings. These must be donors to the museum or past presidents. Is this not elegant though? This is just to rest when you're tired. <laughs> Pretty good, isn't it? I brought Junior with me today, and he's here having a rest with me in this luxurious restroom. See how high the ceilings go up in this? That's beautiful. Look at the chandelier. Spectacular. Me and Junior are chilling out. Mm, it's so nice to walk along the cool marble corridors. All the floors here are marble, the walls are marble. It's so luxurious. It's so amazing, the architecture here. As you look down this concourse, look at the perfectly aligned archway doors, flanked on each side by famous sculptures. And look, what do we have here? Oh, a Salvador Dali. Isn't this amazing? You can just turn a corner in this museum and there's a world famous painting. This is Christ at the Last Supper. There it is, here's a sign. The Sacrament of the Last Supper by Salvador Dali. It was made in 1955. Is this amazing? Turn the corner and a Salvador Dali pops up. <laughs> That's what I love about this museum. You never know what's around the corner. Well, Tubies, we're going to go to the East Wing Gallery now and see what there is over there. As I came down the stairs here, there's another Calder. You know, we saw that big one in the park. It seems to be a recurring theme today. Calder is our artist of the day. Well, come on along. Well, guys, check this out. This waterfall has been here as long as I can remember. Is this amazing? It's a giant wall of water that's coming down. That's outside in the fountain. It's flowing right down 
behind this glass wall, right here along the concourse. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now, last time I was here, my camera cut out. This is a big walkway here. Hopefully they'll get the light show going. It's like a big, uh, it's got a electric sidewalk. You just stand on it and it rolls along. You can see some of the lights are playing. They don't seem to have it on today. Usually it's very dramatic. Here's some lights coming down. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Is this cool or what? Hey guys, well here we are at the East Wing. Check it out. Isn't it amazing? Look, there's another Calder up there. He's really loved here. This is the, the second kind of modern art gallery. I love it because look at the architecture. Just amazing. Look, they got a giant painting over here on the wall. It's a lot of fun here. Well, come on along. We got a lot of adventures. We're going to head upstairs. See this giant stairway? It goes all the way up to a big spot upstairs. This is a restaurant up here called the Sky Terrace Cafe. We're going to go check it out. So come on along. Oh, well, look at that. You know, everywhere you go in this museum, there's always something fascinating. That's kind of neat. Arshil Gorky, 1933 to 1936. I'm loving that modern art. Well, let's go to the Sky Terrace Cafe. It's so elegant. Well, look at this, guys. This is interesting. What a cool sculpture. Oh, and look at that. This is the Sky Terrace Cafe. What's called Terrace Cafe? It used to be called Sky Terrace. Way up at the top of this amazing building. It's very elegant. I hope it's open today. If not, we'll just find somewhere else to eat. Very posh. Well, guys, here I am at the Sky Terrace Cafe. Uh, it's actually changed its name. I was correct. It was the Sky Terrace, and now it's the Terrace Cafe. Uh, there was a company that managed it. It closed. This used to be a formal sit-down restaurant, uh, but now it's self-serve. But it's still very nice. It's just a little different. But you can see we've got this beautiful sky view of D.C. And it's really quite lovely. We overlook the museum. So it's self-serve. I got a sandwich here. Uh, this is Applewood smoked ham sandwich, some chips, and a Coke. In the old days, they served like French onion soup and fancy gourmet food. But times change. But you know what? It's good to be back. Chibis, have I got a treat for you. Look at that. I got something special. Come see this. What do we got? Oh my God. My favorite Picasso. There it is, guys. It's real. See? Pablo Picasso, Harlequin musician, 1924. Isn't it amazing? Here I am, live and in person.
I love it. And here's another one of my favorite paintings. Check this out. This is by Jackson Pollock. Some of you guys may recognize this. This is very famous. This is called Lavender Mist. <clears throat> Let me check the name. I can never remember. But it's number one, Lavender Mist. Number one, 1950, Lavender Mist. <clears throat> it's made in 1950. In the 50s, abstract expressionism was very big. Isn't that amazing? A world famous painting. And here we are. And look what we got, so a world famous Warhol here. Actually, a few of them. Here it is, Andy Warhol, Green, Maryland, 1962. You guys like that, huh? Check that out. Now, I'm not a fan of Mao Zedong or communism, but I do like this painting. This is another famous Warhol painting of Mao Zedong. I'll show you the sign. It says, Mao, 1973, by Andy Warhol. This is the actual painting. It's real. This is amazing thing. You can go right up to world famous. This painting is probably worth over $20 million. And it's not behind glass. And you can look at it. Look at how the edges were done. Look at the brush strokes. Amazing. Just amazing. So here we are. Another famous painting. I don't think we're going in natural history today. This is the line to get up into the museum. There's so many people, you can't even get in. You have to wait in line. So we'll have to come here during an off season. That's all right. It's always an adventure. Well, let's go look at some modern art. Maybe we can find some more Picassos or Warhols or Miro's to look at. Come on along. Well, Tubies, here I am at the Hirshhorn Art Gallery. And uh, unfortunately, uh, most of the exhibits are closed. So I'm not able to show you any more Warhols or Picassos. They have a really great collection here, but they're all closed. So. We'll just go on. Let's see what else there is to see. Well, Tubies, I'm not having much luck today. A lot of the museums I wanted to show you are closed, but uh, I'm out walking on the mall. Right in front of us is the Washington Monument. World famous, beyond that's the Lincoln Memorial. It's getting really, really hot. I've been drinking water, trying to stay cool, but I've been out and running up and down the mall and. I think it's time just to call it a day. Anyways, I couldn't show you everything I wanted you to see, but I think we saw a good amount of fascinating things, and uh, I'm sure glad you guys came along. So, anyways, I'm gonna jump on the train, cruise home. <laughs> well, to be here I am in the subway. Oh, here comes my train. This is the blue line takes me straight home. Isn't that fun? I love traveling by the metro. 